Well, today's recipe is a shira. Shira is my all-time favorite. As a child, I used to eat shira for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and even sometimes wake up in the middle of the night, warm it up slightly, and have it. Well, sometimes even had it cold. But there are various forms of shira. Now, shira could be literally made only with milk, only with water, especially on the streets of Mumbai, and flavors again from saffron to mango to strawberry to pineapple and so much more. Well, today's recipe is a classic pineapple shira loaded with goodness of ghee from gold. Let's go. And for this recipe, like I said, I'm going to use ghee from Gobin for several reasons, of course, but primarily what I like about this ghee is that it's rich in taste, especially because it's made using cow's milk and retains its natural aroma and flavors. Let's begin our recipe with our hero ingredient, ghee from Gobin. Let's add the ghee in the cooking vessel. You know, this recipe will be divided into three, four parts. Well, not literally, but stepwise. So the first step is roasting the semolina. Now, in this case, take the semolina, which is slightly coarser, also known as jada rava, as we call it in Mumbai. Now, take that and you fry it till it's nice and golden brown in color. And this will not take more than three to five minutes. So be attentive. While the ghee is just kind of about to warm up, let's add in semolina. Let's stir this well till the rava gets wonderful, beautifully golden brown in color. You need to constantly keep stirring to avoid the rava burning. After stirring constantly for some 3 to 5 minutes, you see it's turned wonderfully golden brown in color. The next step, and I do this personally this way because it saves a lot of time, I do not fry the nuts separately. I add them right towards the end when the rava just kind of begins to turn golden brown in color. Throw in all your nuts, throw in your raisins, and then wait till the raisins kind of just begin to bloom. And when that happens, immediately let's add in milk and water. We got to lower the flame. Let's begin with raisins, which would start plumbing up like a balloon. Sliced almonds. Stir this immediately. And let's add in the rest of the ingredients. Milk. Keep adding in batches. Because as you see, this is going to start spluttering. Water. And stir this well. Let's add in a layer of flavor with some strands of saffron. Keep stirring this intermittently because you do not want the semolina to start clumping. Now here is step four, adding in the flavor. And remember, the recipe is pineapple shira. So the flavor, of course, is pineapple. But I'm going to use pineapple in three forms. The first one, of course, you take a whole pineapple, you cut it into half, you scoop it, and you remove all the insides because this entire cavity will be used as a nice little pineapple board for the final plating. Now you take the other pineapple and you chop it up. You remove the core, of course, and then you pulverize it, you puree it. A little part needs to be kept aside so that it can be chopped so that you get those little bites while eating. And the third is pineapple essence. Now this in a way kind of accentuates the flavor. Now this is a very important ingredient. Do not think that you've added pineapple puree and chopped pineapple so your job is done. It's not like that because eventually the moment you sweeten it or the moment you add in milk to pineapple, it kind of turns slightly bitter slightly better. To kind of balance it and offset, you need to add in pineapple essence. Let's do it. Let's add this into the shira.
let's stir this well and while stirring I'm also going to add in some freshly ground cardamom seeds Now at this stage, we're going to sweeten this. So this is literally the third step in the process. Now, for sweetening, you can use sugar or you can use jaggery powder. Please, for God's sake, do not add in honey or maple syrup because that will completely change the recipe and become absolutely liquid. Okay, another thing that you need to notice in this recipe is that this generally requires a little higher quantity of ghee than your normal shira because this is a little thinner. So please remember that. Finally, one quick stir, cover this and keep it to cook so that the semolina just kind of blooms up which is again very important for this recipe otherwise it will kind of give you those little grits while eating and you do not want that. And we cover this and cook this for 3 to 5 minutes covered. And while this is happening let me assure you that for Govind milk and milk products is the quality that's of absolute supreme importance and that's why it's imperative and vital to understand quality and keep that in check right from source. And with this, your pineapple shira is done and ready. Now what are you waiting for? Straight transfer this in the pineapple board. Garnish it with some chopped almonds. Also, I like personally adding in just a little pinch of rose petals, dried rose petals. The granularity and mouthfeel of Govin's ghee is going to remind you of a grandmother. You know why? Because this is the ghee that is made using traditional methods. Well, on that note, do not forget to try this wonderful pineapple shira this Independence Day. And remember to use ghee, pure ghee, from Govind, the happy makers. Bye for now.